Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Let's Stay Gamers, and welcome. So today I've got quite an interesting little project to show you, something that I've been working on for quite a bit of time after being inspired by a number of different ships on the Steam Workshop. And with the introduction of planets in Marek's blog post a few weeks back, I really started to want to develop some more ground type vehicles. And it's very interesting and exciting looking at a planet or flying past it maybe from above, but you might want to get down on the surface and actually go and try to explore it. And we all know what the wheels are like in Space Engineers and wheels are not the best way of getting over some of the rougher terrain. So I've actually developed some tracks into this model and I'll take you through them right now. So you can actually see we've got a very basic sort of track design we've got the treads and then individual pieces something that I've been working on similar the only thing that's a little bit different is we've actually got teeth running through the center of the track here that is going to trap the well the actual tread between the two wheels making for a very effective crawling technique as well as getting the grip now the friction is not all the way up on these wheels so that they don't spin or snap off but you'll see how effective it actually is when we get bored now going around to the back side you can actually see we've got quite a lot of ground clearance so this is going to allow us to travel over some of the bumps and humps in the terrain that other vehicles could simply get sort of um, capsized on or get actually stuck on the hump itself so I'll take you aboard this thing and we'll actually have a look now the interior itself was heavily inspired by this bulldog base vehicle that I saw in the workshop and I thought wow we can we need some sort of troop transporting capabilities here in the back so we've got a number of chairs we've got some cargo storage some oxygen and you can just see that's how we've got it there now in the bulldog design itself the one from the workshop there were some sort of stairs and different things here but I, I didn't really feel like there was any necessary sort of point of having them there for me so I thought I'd just implement some cargo containers and some different features aboard this design so we're actually into the cockpit here got a communication station at the left and we've got a very sort of simple base sort of cockpit for the pilot to actually drive around in so let's actually step in the back and we'll actually take this thing for a spin so now we've disabled the handbrake and we can actually bring this vehicle starting moving you can see we've got some spare tires on the roof and on the side in a sort of interesting looking mount and you can see how it starts to traverse the terrain at quite a high speed and it doesn't take too much well it takes quite a bit of damage actually because as I roll over these trains, you can see the wheels are bouncing up and down and running along that track let's let's try something a little bit harder though let's try climbing one of these larger hills and it shouldn't really be a problem for this thing because it is an all-terrain vehicle where usually a tired vehicle would really struggle to actually get up this terrain this vehicle is just in a breeze up here at quite a high speed even you can see how each of the tracks are actually making a little bit of grip on the terrain below now we just want to be careful we don't want to go flying off around the top so you can see we've got a little bit of air liftance and we're going to clear the top we're going to slow it down so we don't go smashing down the other side i think we're going to smash down right okay now we're all right so you can see how we climbed up and out of that crater extremely easily so if this was a planet or something else you could imagine going through all sorts of terrain i just can't wait to see what sort of other domes they're going to do i mean will they have mud and different textures and different sorts of ground resources swamps lakes and all different areas it's just going to be really cool so i've brought the exploration vehicle back down into the valley itself and we're going to try actually climbing up one of these much steeper sort of gradients to see if it's actually possible now it has onboard gravity system so it means it can basically shift the direction of the gravity to help actually climb the obstacle but we'll see exactly how it handles this now the little winch sash front sort of scoop is acting there as a little bit of precaution to scrape the ground and help push the vehicle up the actual slope but we'll see if we can actually they do this much harsher angle and it seems like the actual machine is doing it very well so if it was down on an earth-like planet or something else now this is pretty much a prototype version i'm thinking about doing a few other versions of this little vehicle itself maybe one with a flatbed and a crane to actually crane items onto the back but i thought it'd just be really cool to have something possibly ready for when the planets or something come out so actually traverse them drive along and just be it's a far way in the future but it's just be really cool to actually have a mess around with so that was just a quick look at this vehicle that I've been messing around with. Now, I've got some links in the description to some of the actual models that I was inspired by from other people on the workshop. So make sure you check them out and I will see you. 